how are you doing today? Hi, I'm great. It's been a busy day and uh, looking forward to to our conversation. Thank you for having me. What is your current role at Accenture? I am the human resources lead of Accenture in the Philippines. I drive the people and culture strategy, making sure that we are able to support the professional growth and more importantly, personal well-being of our people, fostering a culture that enables our people to reach their potential. Do you prefer working from home or working from office? I actually enjoy both. I love what I do. And with how work has evolved over the couple of years, the last couple of years, I find it more personally enriching today to be able to create positive impact regardless of where I work, how I do my work, whether it's at home or in the office, and more importantly, still being able to do and spend more time to do what matters most to me. What's the first thing you do when you start your work? For me, it's more of starting my day. I normally have an early start that's around 6 a.m. Um, where regardless of whether I work at home or work in the office, I normally start my day early. I start the day by setting perspective, which requires reflecting on what matters most, what's urgent, what we need to do for the day, what's important. And more importantly, it gives me time to also reflect on our people and our teams. How would your colleagues describe you in three words? I think they would say I'm a forward thinker. Uh, I'm a compassionate leader. What's the worst advice you have ever been given? Very early in my HR career, I wanted to learn more about HR, which meant understanding and being involved in other HR areas. So when I did share this with my boss, um, my boss said for me to simply stay within the field of HR that I was hired to do. Others would probably be disappointed, but this response and this situation when I look back fueled my interest and passion to pursue even more areas in HR to make sure that I continue to evolve and I keep learning and expanding um, my awareness and knowledge in, in the practice. And in the same way, I became more sensitive and cognizant of supporting the growth of other people. How would you describe your leadership style? What sort of leader would your team say that you are? I hope my team would say that I am a leader who leads by example. I do hold people accountable while providing support. I help people find their purpose in the work that they do. What is the one leadership lesson you learned over the years? That one can never go wrong when you lead with compassion and kindness. I have learned that the way forward is not a one-size-fits-all. And as leaders, we have the opportunity to personalize work for our people, recognizing and respecting individual and different needs and aspirations. What is your favorite part about your current job at Accenture? The best part of my job is having the opportunity to power and inspire growth um, and bring hope to people. Um, in my role, I have an opportunity to create and shape a culture which allows people and you know, individuals and teams to bring their best selves at work every single day. What is the quality that you look for in a new hire? Curiosity, you know, the eagerness to learn and learn and relearn. Do you have a favorite workday time waster? I cannot think of a time waster, um, but I make it a point that in all my that all my activities in a day roll up to be a good day and a productive one. What I do have in a day is what I call breaks from work, and those are reset moments. And the reset moments can be different sets of activities, from stopping for a simple coffee, taking breathing exercises. And the best part that I like is when I deliberately get out of my desk, uh, whether it's at home or at the office, 
um, to be able to connect with people, whether it's my children, or sometimes I reach out to my own colleagues at work, and we can have a, what, 10, 15 minute conversation that has nothing to do with work. If you did not sit at the desk at Accenture, where would it be then? I would probably be in the countryside, uh, 40 kilometers from where I live. Um, we have a I, we have a country home, and I'd be in the veranda, sipping coffee with my girlfriends. Is there a quote that inspires you? You cannot give what you don't have. What is your advice for our future focused leaders? Embrace your imperfect selves and be able to build confidence in individuals and teams. I think allowing one's caring self to unfold naturally allows leaders to lead with compassion and kindness, something that the world really needs today. I enjoyed this time. Thank you so much, Nila, for having me.